Yeah, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, I'm crying inside. I'll cry later in the truck, but I won't show it now. I mean, to finish top 10 overall is what is a huge achievement for all of us. You know, our first 24 hours at Le Mans, 24 hours of Le Mans. I mean, from where we started yesterday, in the first 10 minutes, we were dead last and seven laps behind because of a pipe leak that uh, that hampered our you know our chances uh, basically we you know uh, we, we lost engine cooling and from then on we just we just pushed on we we crawled back we recovered so well the team did a phenomenal job the boys as well and p6 in our class top 10 overall and now in the WEC standings I believe we're standing second second overall in the in the championship standing so it's a uh, what an achievement it's just it's emotional you know it feels it, it feels like a win and of course there's one more one more thing on the bucket list so yeah well, thank you everyone for your support back home and uh, I love Malaysia love you guys no it was a pipe leak it was a pipe leak and we were basically we, the, the radiator was leaking so we we lost engine cooling engine got way too hot and uh, then we had to box and fix it and we lost seven laps just off the box like that yeah so that was unfortunate but we all did you know it's, a, it's an incredible experience at 24 you know I was just saying to the boys I never I've never woken up at 4 3 4 a.m. in the morning to drive let alone go to the toilet you know <laughs> so you know we're all tired we're all emotional at the moment but it's a great achievement you know to be standing here waving the malaysian flag in the biggest sporting event in the world it's incredible thank you guys um i didn't have a contact with another car actually um the first incident i was overtaking an amateur around porsche curves and there was debris on the track it was you know it was dark it was already at night it was dark uh, couldn't see it by that time it was it was really too late so because of the debris i ran wide and you know lost control of the car so luckily i still i was still able to get the car going and limp it back to the pits uh, just a front and rear rear change on the car and then we got going again so yeah unfortunate but you know we still finished p10 overall well i expect us to be on the podium that's for sure i think we learned a lot in this 24 hours you know our performance have increased on another level and you know our teamwork as well so we, we learned a lot as a team as drivers as a unit and i expect nothing less for the six hours of silverstone provided everything falls into place this from face is it definitely you know big thanks to jackie chan dc racing jota sport for giving us such an incredible car to race with um, we had a really good package all we had to do was manage the car make sure that we bring the car back in one piece it's 24 hours you know it's, it's so incredible thank you Sabang International Circuit as well for giving us this huge support and to be carrying their name over here is an incredible feeling